Casey, nice to meet you. We like people that care about politics. <laughs>
this point, I'd like to invite Tom Mullican to the podium. Well, I thought you'd know better to give me a microphone on a day like today. <laughs> what a great day in Kershaw County. I believe only Only second to us running the British out here a little while ago. So we, we got a lot of great things going on here. And I'm not going to steal uh, the thunder to our Lieutenant Governor. Katie, God bless you for what you've done already and what you're going to do for our county. We're poised for greatness right here. And greatness is what we have with our Lieutenant Governor. I'm just really honored to have the opportunity to introduce here. And as I look out at the field where Andrew Jackson was held as a prisoner of war, when he was seven years old. We can overcome great things right here. And freedom was won right where we stand. Yeah. And greatness began right here. Greatness in the world and what you're going to hear from in only a moment is our great lieutenant governor who has distinguished herself as one of the greatest business leaders in our country. I love it when people say, well, she's one of the greatest female business people in the country. Female! She's been one of the greatest business leaders in the country and set that aside to step in as our Lieutenant Governor where she has tirelessly led our state and has hiked Dr. King from the mountains to the sea. I've witnessed it. I've seen her swim literally with sharks and seen her and Katie swim together with alligators in the bayou. So I know that collectively we're ready for great days here in Kershaw County. Governor, thank you for being with us. I know you came back from vacation early to do this. We love you, we love your family, we love all that you stand for. Please stand and welcome our great Lieutenant Governor. What an introduction. It, you know, it's always hard to be your first day back on the job and have to follow Tom Mulligan giving any remarks, right? You cannot do better than this guy right here. Um, first, I want to start by saying Happy New Year, and what a great new year it is. Uh, it's just such an honor to be here. When I got the word that Katie called and asked if I would swear her in today, I can't tell you, I was beyond proud and honored to be able to do that. You know, everybody talks about being uh, the first female lieutenant governor in our state's history, and it, that has been an honor. And I know that is something that Katie won't take lightly. Because I know when people talk about, you want to be the first of something. You don't just want to be the first for the sake of being the first. You want to be the right person when you're the first. Because it's a big weight to carry out your shoulders. And I think here in Kershaw County, you've done a great job putting Katie in the spot. Fresh ideas and good leadership, it's something that we know we need. We're seeing it around our country. We're seeing it in our communities. We're seeing it everywhere. Good, strong leadership is what we are craving as a nation. And as we saw during the pandemic, you know, everybody puts such an emphasis on what happens in Washington, D.C. and who we send to Washington, D.C. But if COVID has showed us anything, COVID has showed us that it's leadership that touches us most closely, local leadership, state leadership that makes all the difference. People that understand what's happening in our communities, in our state, what's important to us as citizens of where we live. That's why these elections are so important. I think that's why our nation has now switched their focus to why it's important to look at our state leaders. Leaders that understand what we value, what we respect, what our moral values are, and even more so at a state level. We're seeing in record numbers moms standing up and school boards and saying enough is enough. I want to have a say in what happens in my child. We're seeing women across our country standing up and saying, no, I think I can make a difference. Standing shoulder to shoulder and making sure that we do what's best for our families. So I want to thank you all for being here today. And Katie, thank you for having me. Again, I can't tell you what a great honor it is. You're very blessed. You're very blessed with a loving family and a community that cares you and a state that will pray for you. So at this time, I would love for you and your family to step up here so we can get you sworn in so you can start the duties at hand. Gotta make sure you get a good photo op for these things, 
and my sister Courtney, Trip, my husband, Lily, and Eli, my children, thank you. Thank you for putting up with the long nights and um, everything we had to do to prepare. And um, please be patient for the next four years. <laughs>
why we're there and who we're serving. Keep calling and texting. Um, be patient if you text me, please. Uh, keep bringing your ideas and your complaints so that we can improve it all the way around. No matter who you voted for, regardless of your political affiliation or where you live, I am your new chairwoman and I'm very excited to serve you and work with you. I see this community coming together um, from Elgin to Bethune, from Redbird to Liberty Hill. Um, people are working together right now on projects that, is gonna, that are going to better the community and I'm so excited to be a part of it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Um, it is time to get to work. Thank you.